It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. I'm not even shouting my sponsor out today because I'm pissed off. Let me talk about all the things that's pissing me off today. The charts are out. We'll get to that, but first we're going to start off with Lotto. And I am telling you, I am down on Lotto for using Cardi B's name and the fan base. She pulled a Doja Cat when Doja Cat got all the buzz and people was thinking that Nicki Minaj was going to be in her video getting to a year. And she got all the buzz for it and then come to find out Nicki Minaj was nowhere in that video. And Doja Cat was seeing people saying it and she didn't shut down those rumors because she was loving the uh, clout she was getting from it and the hype. And it got her trending. Well, Lotto just did the same thing. It got her trending that everybody thought that Cardi B was going to be on the uh, remix of Wheelie, and so did I. So I got that wrong because Lotto sat there and saw her name trending, and she I'm sure she clicked on her name, probably said, wait, hey, why am I trending? Clicked on the name and said that everybody was expecting Cardi B to be on Wheelie, and then she's sitting there doing this description. Oh, a parent went to the Met Gala. You know, um, a built a, a, a diamond record. You know, so everyone thought she was talking about Cardi B. Uh, that's our problem. We should have took the sign and said, it said a parent didn't say a mother, and it said has a diamond record, which I guess which he does. He must be a part of one, but. No one cares about 21 Savage, and she knows it, and that's the reason why she used Cardi B and used Barty Gang, knew that uh, Cardi B has a starving fan base that wants music, and she used that to advantage. Now, the only thing I'll give Lotto credit for is that she didn't ride it all the way out until the, to the 11th. That's the only thing I'll give her credit for. She could have rode it out to the 11th like Doja Cat did, ride it all the way out, and then people find out it's not Cardi you know, on the 11th. So I did not appreciate that. I, I think that was Bush League that she did. And she knew that Cardi wasn't on that remix. But she knew the only reason she was trending is because people thought that Cardi B was going to be on the remix. Come to find out it's her corny boyfriend, 21 Savage, who I've never been high on. I've always thought was overrated. I think 21 Savage is garbage. That's just my opinion. I've never thought 21 Savage was hot. He rhymes lazy. He's not exciting. He's dull. I don't understand what the hype is over 21 Savage. And she knows there's no hype over 21 Savage. That's the reason why she used Cardi B and the fan base. She pulled a Doja Cat. Same thing Doja Cat did with Nicki Minaj and, and her fan base. Ridiculous. Moving on, Dua Lipa tied Leanne Rhymes for the amount of weeks on the uh, Billboard Hot 100. Um, I guess I think the song was "How Do I Live Without You" by Leanne Rhymes. So Dua Lipa now uh, tied her, and if Levitating stays in uh, the top twenty next week, she will then break the record. Speaking of these damn charts. Sweetie song Closer drops out of the Billboard Hot 100. And I am convinced now that social media helped sabotage Sweetie. Because if that song Closer was done by anybody else, everybody was talking about all you look, all you can hear is people saying how good the song was. Or it sounds like Doja Cat's Kiss Me More. Well, Doja Cat's Kiss Me More stayed on the charts forever. It's a stable song. It's probably still on the charts. So if it reminds you of Kiss Me More, how come the song is is not higher on the charts than what it was? Because it was Saweetie doing it. And people have, on social media, the jealous, stupid, unaware people on social media has helped sabotage Sweetie. That song was a good a good record. <laughs> Who can sit and say that Closer wasn't a good record? And it's because of these stupid 
uh, people who idolize baby mamas such as Jada Waiter and Mimi and Ari Fletcher. They idolize those women, but they look down on a, a college educated woman with no baby daddies. And who's a, a trumpeneur and doing things in the music business that other people aren't doing. So they'll look down at Sweetie and say Sweetie's trash and Sweetie's garbage, but they will idolize these baby mamas that are that are, are famous only because of who they got kids by. Makes me sick. I'm sick and tired of this industry. Moving on to Doja Cat. Doja Cat came in at number 43. Freaky Deaky, 43. Here's Doja, that's another thing. Here's Doja Cat, the hottest artist in the world. And she comes in and debuts at 43. What, where is the consistency? There's one thing about today's music, but I'm, 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 I'm so fed up with this garbage. She's the hottest artist right now in the world other than Dua Lipa. And if this was the 90s or the 80s, those artists that were on fire putting in work, whenever they put out songs, them songs were debuting top 10. I mean, I don't understand the, the what, where is the consistency in stream. I'm telling you, they need to do away with streams altogether and make people simply buy. Oh, the only thing that should count uh, is buying. Do away with streams, and you're going to have to purchase these records via iTunes or however else you purchase them. If Billboard wants to, wants to have a... a a site where you purchase stuff directly from Billboard, do that because this thing with these streams is is ridiculous. You know, you cannot really you know no, oh airplay and the street airplay shouldn't have to have to do anything with the charts. If you want you know people aren't really listening to radio anyway anymore. So if it's gonna have to be radio and sales only then that's what's not going to have to be because this is ridiculous. It comes in at 43? That song's never going to make number one. If you debut it at 43, you're not making number one. And the fact that Doja Cat, the amount of work she's been putting in, you would think that she would debut a little lower than that. I mean, what is going on with music? You know what? Get, get these people off my screen. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood for Lying Network.